Hello, friend. Welcome to day 297 of Shakuhachi practice. If you don't already know me, my name is Andy, and I have decided to do 365 days of practicing my Shakuhachi flute. If you've seen my other videos in the series so far, you already know I like starting off each of these practices by pulling a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. So I'm going to pull a card, share the message, play some flute, and then carry on. While I shuffle the cards, I am setting the intention to please receive the message that is best for my friend and I to meditate on today. If you have an intention of your own that you would like to set, go ahead, bring it to mind. If you have a question, or help making a decision. Go ahead and think about it now. I'm starting to think of some ideas for after our 365 days. Not that I think it's happening anytime soon. <laughs> I think we've got plenty of time, but I've got some ideas starting to formulate. So that's exciting. Okay. Here we go. I hope you have your intention. I've got mine. And here's our card. What are we going to get? Ah, slow and steady, as always. Number 12. Slow and steady in the upright position. Remember the old cliche, slow and steady wins the race? This is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart. Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of life. Savor them. What a short and sweet little message. I think that might be the shortest one in the book, actually. Just one little paragraph. We'll read it again. Remember the old cliche, slow and steady wins the race? This is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart. Trusting that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of your life. Savor them. Amen to that. Slow and steady, I think, does win the race. So there are many times, because I'm, I'm usually a pretty slow and steady person in general, but there are some times that I just do the opposite and I just like jump right into the deep end of things. And... <laughs> Usually once they do that, I remember, oh yeah, slow and steady does, does work well <laughs> and is enjoyable. It works and it's enjoyable. Can't beat that. The hard part is having patience, I think. Cultivating patience is necessary in order to enjoy the slow and steady, maybe. Let me know what you think. Are you a slow and steady person? Or are you usually more a fast-paced person? Is it hard for you to slow down? Or do you prefer it that way? Let me know. I always love hearing what you all have to say. So while we let that message sink in, I will play now some shakuhachi. I'm gonna stick with that slow and steady as we do. Cheers to you.
that felt really good. Thank you so much for being here and joining me along in another video. If you did like today's video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to be suggested more of these videos or ones with a similar vibe from other channels, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. We'll do it again very soon. Bye for now.